For this WebViewer release, we focused on bringing even more customization APIs to WebViewer. We tried our best to package 50 plus different uh, annotation and editing tools that are available into the ribbon groups that you see above, like view, annotate shapes, insert, fill and sign forms, and others. But to make it easier for our users using the WebViewer product, they're only going to be utilizing a specific set of tools. As such, we introduced a new API that allows you to create and place your own ribbon groups on top, hide others, and just place the tools your user needs. Let's take a look at the API. Here, after the WebViewer initializes, uh, let's go ahead and add a new draw group. Now, the use of default elements actually tells you whether or not you want to show the undo and redo buttons, as well as the eraser. And you can just go ahead and provide a tool group button, like a freehand tool, or a rectangle tool here, and provide the translations for the specific tool. Since WebViewer 8.1, we have introduced this new page manipulation context menu that even allows you to add your own custom actions for page manipulation. Now, a lot of the users actually expressed a lot of feedback that for the most used tools, they wanna to bubble them up to the top instead of having to go down to this particular menu. As such, with WebViewer 8.6, we have added the ability for you to place your own um, action button directly underneath the thumbnail that the user is working with. And here I place this button, for example, let's say I want to extract this page to a new case. And uh, when calling this custom on click function, it actually returns you the selected thumbnail as one. Let's take a look at the code. So to add this page manipulation action, all I have to do is just go ahead and uh, on the instance that UI thumbnail control menu, I can call a new function to add. And this button is going to be called extract to the new case. Uh, it could give it an image, it could be an SVG element, a V64, or just to the uh, path to the image where your icon or image is stored, and then provide a custom on-click handler uh, that will actually provide you with the selected page numbers. And then I can also give it a data element, just if I want to hide this button for a particular set of users. Now, the default behavior when it comes to highlights and notations on a large amount of text is actually co-ops by default. This way you can kind of have a quick glance on all the different comments that are present on the documents and see if there's any replies on a particular uh, comment or highway. However, users working in a lot of review and approval workflow coming in and want to kind of read through all the different comments, see all the different replies, can now have those comments and replies and highlights auto expanded by default with just three simple APIs. So simply by calling enable auto expand common thread, disable reply co-ops and disable text co-ops, I can get this behavior instead. Now, when I go ahead to select a uh, particular highlight or underline a really long string of text. Now, if I mouse over here, as you can see, my highlights are auto expanded. And when providing a comment and then replying back to my comment, um, this conversation doesn't call ups on me and instead I can see the whole conversation going on uh, without having to auto expand and click through each comment. That should save quite a bit of time for some users that just want to kind of read through the thread and try to understand what was said on the document. Now another addition in WebViewer 8.6 is a new revamped uh, filter model right here. So if I want to just filter for the comments uh, that I want to see, I can go and select whether or not I want to filter by a specific author, whether or not I want to see the replies, select the color or the type of annotations that would show up. On the same note, we have updated the print model available where the users can select the current page, uh, select the print quality and add a new watermark uh, to the output documents when printing them or saving to a PDF on download. And we have also updated a password model or password entry model for when the users are trying to access encrypted PDFs document. WebViewer is able to not only encrypt or decrypt uh, documents directly in the browser, but also you can programmatically pass a password to the document uh, without the user having to uh, enter that uh, password manually. I hope you enjoyed all the feature additions that we have introduced in this release. 
if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching.